Hi everyone. Can you see what's behind me right now? That gives us a little clue about today's story. I love chocolate and I'm just hoping that maybe, just maybe, the Easter Bunny might leave me one little Easter egg. We'll have to wait and see. Today's story, boys and girls, is the Easter story. And it's a very special one. But before I tell you it, I want to tell you about a little boy. And this little boy is called Tom. Tom had a very special toy. One that he treasured. He didn't want to lose it. He didn't want anybody to take it. And it went everywhere with him. It even went to bed with him at night. And do you know what it was, boys and girls? It was a truck. It was a beautiful truck. And he just loved it. But one day, Tom was out with his daddy and they met some other people. And one of those other people was a little boy named Jack. He and his family had to move out and move away because they lived very, very far away in another country. And they had to come and live very near Tom. But Jack had absolutely no toys because he'd had to leave them all in his old house. Jack thought Tom's truck looked amazing. So when Tom saw Jack's face and saw how he looked so longingly at his truck, and because he knew that that little boy had had to leave all his special things behind in another country, he thought and he thought and he thought and then he walked over to Jack and he said, Jack, I want you to keep this. Well, Jack's face lit up. He couldn't believe how kind Tom had been to him. He smiled and smiled and smiled and he was just over the moon. Our story today, boys and girls, is about somebody who gave up something very, very, very special, even more special than a truck, to make us free, to make us happy, to make us new again. It's all about God and God giving his most treasured possession to save us. And his most treasured possession was his son, Jesus. So let's have a look at the story and let's think about how hard that must have been for God to give up something so special for us. I'm not sure if I could do it. I'm not sure if I could give up something that I treasured for somebody else. I don't know, do you think you could? Let's have a listen to today's story. Jesus came to the city of Jerusalem. A huge, excited crowd welcomed Jesus. They knew that he was God's promised king. But some people did not want Jesus to be in charge. So they sent soldiers to arrest him. They hated Jesus because he said he was the son of God. They put King Jesus on a cross to die. Jesus' friends were very scared. Jesus died. His friends cried. They buried Jesus in a rock tomb and put a big heavy stone over the door. Jesus' friends were so, so sad. On the third day, early in the morning, 
some women came to the tomb, but the stone was rolled away. Jesus was not there. They were so, so confused. Some angels appeared. They said, he is not here. He is risen, just as he promised. The women were astonished. The woman ran and told Jesus' friends what they had seen and what the angels had said. He is risen! But they didn't believe them. Suddenly, Jesus was right there with them. He spoke to them. He ate with them. He showed them his hands and his feet. He really was alive again. Jesus' friends were startled, afraid, amazed, confused. Don't be afraid, said Jesus. It really is me. I died and now I am alive again. Now you can be friends with God forever. Jesus' friends were happy, happier, the happiest they had ever been in their whole lives. Then King Jesus sent his friends to tell everyone the good news. They happily spread the message all over the world. And now you have heard the message about how King Jesus died and rose again so that we can be friends with God forever. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm smiling at the end of that story. There were times in that story where I felt very, very sad. A bit like the little boy in the first story I told you about, a bit like Jack. And then Jack was so happy when he got the toy. Well, in this story, I was so sad when I heard all about Jesus and how he had died on the cross. And then I felt so excited and so happy when he rose again. He wasn't dead anymore. He had come back to life. He had risen again, just as God had promised. That is such a happy story. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you will remember the reason behind Easter. And when we get an Easter egg, sometimes when we open it, there's nothing in it. And you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of the empty tomb. They rolled the stone away. The stone looked a bit like a giant Easter egg, I'm sure. They rolled it away and inside the tomb, there was nothing. It was empty because Jesus had risen again. And an Easter egg, well, an egg is a sign of new life, isn't it? When, a, when a, an animal lays an egg, there's a new life inside it. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's story. And I hope you will remember that Jesus died for us to make us happy. That we might be made new again. How special is that? How special of God to send his son for us. Enjoy your Easter eggs. Don't eat too many. And I look forward to seeing you again with my next story. Take care. Bye.